This is going to be a quick video on how the stagger system works in Vermintide and what each talent does in regards to the stagger system. Whenever you attack an enemy, you cause that enemy to become staggered. Staggered enemies are considered to be in one or two phases of stagger, respectively called stagger one and stagger two. When enemies are affected by only one kind of stagger, they are in the state staggered one. In this state, enemies take 20% more damage across the board from all damage types. There is an exception to this, more on that later. If an enemy is affected by more than one stagger effect, which is most common when one enemy is being attacked by two or more people at the same time, then they are in the state staggered too. In this state, they take 40% more damage from all attacks with that one exception. As long as an enemy is within their staggered animation, they are in either stage 1 or stage 2 of stagger. Enemies who are locked into a jumping, climbing, or dropping animation is automatically put into stage 2 stagger for the entire duration of their animation. Any damage directly done by any dot ignores the stagger mechanic entirely, as they do not gain any bonus damage during the stages of stagger. Stagger talents enhance the stagger mechanic by giving you different options to best suit your weapons and play styles in regards to the stagger mechanic. Mainstay boosts the base damage you do against enemies in both stagger stages from 20 and 40% up to 40 and 60%. This is best used on weapons that are good horde clearers, such as two-handed hammer, halberd, and dual hammers. Smiter causes the first enemy hit by any attack to be automatically considered in Staggered 1, even if they are not in a state of Stagger at the time. This is best used with weapons that have low cleave and high single target damage, or weapons that you tend to aim for the head for, such as one-handed axe or sword and dagger. Bulwark debuffs the enemy, so whenever you Stagger an enemy, they take 10% more damage from all damage sources in the game, excluding damage over time. This stacks with the damage normally gained from stagger, so damage done with the bulwark buff is increased to 30 and 50% and 50 and 70% with mainstay. This is best used with shields. Assassin causes all critical hits and headshots to do damage as if the enemy is in stagger 2, meaning that all critical hits and headshots automatically do 40% more damage no matter the stage of stagger the enemy is in. This is best used with classes that have high crit chance, as well as weapons that require you to aim for the head, such as dual daggers and rapier. Enhanced power increases your total hero power by roughly 7%. This is best used on ranged focused careers, as the 7% boost applies to ranged attacks, whereas the other talents do not. In addition, with the 7% power increase, the total damage done to staggered enemies is 10% less on melee attacks than if, we're, and than if you were using mainstay, as the damage in staggered 2 with mainstay is 60%, whereas the damage with enhanced power is only about 50%. Now, just because a weapon might be best suited for one of these talents doesn't mean you should never use the other talents with these weapons. An example of this is Executioner's Sword on Mercenary, which has good horde clear, which is improved even more through mainstay. However, taking Smiter instead of mainstay allows you to reach breakpoints that allows you to one-shot headshot Stormvermin on Cataclysm more easily. It's best to experiment with different weapon types and stagger talents in order to find which combination works best for you.